so hello guys welcome back so it is a sunday and i'm back here at home so i'm coming live from home and today guys i want to pass a very serious strong message to the youths to all the youths in yabuhanse to all the youths in the entire world because this message is going to help to help the youths and today i want to set a memorial whereby whereby the all the youths will join me if interested because this message will is going to build so many youths outside there to build our lives and even to think critically because we want to share the land market experiences that we have in our lives as youths you know guys nothing good is delivered without that desire because what you don't desire you don't deserve it we as youths we should always we should always have a desire so that we can deserve it remember my brothers and sisters anyone can end up being a worthy beggar class if he or she wants it but if we can open our eyes as youths strive so hard i promise you we shall ever never end as beggars because when i read the book of deuteronomy 30 to 19 it tells me a lot about the youths it tells me a lot deuteronomy 30 to 19 it shares a lot with the youths and it says i therefore call the heaven and earth to record this to you that i have set a lot in your lives I have set a lot in your lives and death I have I've set the blessings and I have read out the curses for you so that in your life the seed may live so God is encouraging us a youth trying to tell us that God has set so many blessings into our lives and we as youths we should always be straightforward to set a seed of life in our lives. You know very well, you cannot be a changer of life without being a changed man. If you want to be a change of this life, you must be a changed man. You must be a changed woman. You must be a changed young man. For you to bring change in your village, for you to bring change in your family, for you to bring change in the entire world, you first have to be a changed man. Remember, only changed people can change the world. Only changed people can change the world. And that is true. You know, sometimes I wonder, we as youths, for instance, when a meeting happens in a village, a meeting happens somewhere, you are called to attend that meeting. You drag your feet one hour late when the meeting has started. Eh? You missed a lot that could have helped your community, that could have helped your neighborhood, that could have helped your family because of time management. That is not a worthy changer. That is a worthy changer loser. And also in collective, we can say, gallant, the gallant losers. You know, we should always manage our time very well. Be time conscious in everything that we do as youths for us to succeed in the entire life. So let's be punctual in everything that we do as youths. Remember, nothing great drops on the people. There's nothing that great that can drop on you before you step out into that greatness that you want. So before you want, before the greatness drop onto you, you have to go out and find that greatness that you want. Nothing comes for free, for sure. Nothing. You have to work for it. And this is a very strong message. We should always not underwrite such a message. Because may we usually share 
I usually want to unite people, more especially my youths, fellows, because that is how we should do it. That is how we should go. Because when I read Galatians, the book of Galatians 6 to 7, it says, it says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Because whatsoever a man sowed, that is what you reap. So as youths, we should always be ready to sow, to reap what we sowed. Yes, that is the truth. Don't expect nothing to come on a silver plate without you working hard for it. For instance, you cannot harvest, you cannot reap a supernatural harvest without sowing a spiritual seed. And a spiritual seed, a spiritual seed is a seed that is directed from the God's scriptures, that is being dictated from the God's scriptures. Spiritual, spiritual harvest is all about living according to God's will, according to God's, the way he wants us to live, about, according to the scriptures, so that our destinies can enlarge, our destinies can be of good intents. You cannot be a good bigger changer when you cannot even handle the problems in your community. When you start a problem, please finish it. Don't just start as something and you leave it hanging and you leave it creating so many problems. When you want to be a great changer in the village, in the town, in the entire world, make sure when you start something, finish it and make sure that nothing comes in again trying to bring some problems where you've started. For example, if you start have a, you start planting maize, you dig it, you put the fertilizer, you put people to dig again, you harvest the maize. But you cannot plant and just run away and you expect to harvest. You'll be failing. You cannot bend a dried fish without breaking it. You first have to break the fish you, you first have to break that fish because it is it has dried up. What I'm trying to say is that we should be very, very careful when you start doing things as youths. Don't just start something as a youth and you just want to run away from that thing. When you want to, you've started it, please, 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 finish it. Finish it. Sort it out amicably. Yes. Don't start and you leave people in problems please and i usually say this is the right time we as youths we unite together we share our problems we see the ways out to help each other this is our time this is our time this is our time let's use it very well let us utilize it very well because because guys you know there's no way no way like me for instance i can limp using my my hands and my feet that stage have passed i'm going to another stage i'm not a baby eh? remember the way you grew up you had some ambitions to do eh? so let's use the time very well hmm? For instance, when you reach about 50s, 60s, you cannot be a pilot. Eh? You cannot be a teacher. Eh? So before maybe time runs out of you, please manage it very well. Do something that is productive out of it. Yes, time management is the best. Let's time ourselves very well. This is not the time to create chaos in between us. This is not time to create grudges in between us this is no time to separate each other this time to unite to live to support so that when we reach 30 years 35 years 40 years you are a big man you are now the one helping these small kids around 
uh, from your own. Uh. Remember, everything is according to times and seasons. Everything is according to times and seasons. When you don't time our time very well, then we are running out of our seasons. That is the truth. And that is the truth. And that is the bitter truth out of it. We should always, always and always manage our time very well. Because if we won't manage our time very well, my sisters, my brothers, one day we shall cry. One day we shall chew our fingers and regret so much that we wasted a lot of time criticizing each other, trying to bring other people down for no reason. It is our time, my brothers and sisters. Because when I read about in the book of Proverbs 24 to 10, it encourages us youths to use our time very well. Go read that verse. It will show you. We should use our time very well because time, time management is the best. Remember, time wasted is never recovered. This is the time we wake up. This is the time we see all that we want to see for future. Guys, I'm here with my family here. I have Tiffany here. Say my hi. Hi. Yeah. So it is, it is a weekend and they're back at home here. So my wife is here. Hi, guys. Hope you are, you are doing fine. Like I've been busy all along. Mm. Here, there, here, there, here, there. Mm. But um, I'm happy that I'm back mm. to see you guys again. Mm -hmm. Hope you are doing well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really like to appreciate mm. uh, for your um, support every now and then. Mm. Your comments, your replies, your uh, corrections. Uh, I'm really happy. Mm. And there's something else I want to say. You see, uh, I'm so happy that at least we have uh, our privacy now. Mm. We've taken a single room mm. yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that is beside uh, our mom's home. Mm. Yeah, at least now we have a bit of our privacy. But that, that does not mean that we'll not be here with mom. Mm. We are only going to, like, just a small privacy. But yes. all things are done yeah. here at our mom's compound. So... We shall be only be, maybe be sleeping there. Yeah, nights will be finding us there, but all day long we'll be here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Uh, um, I'll be seeing you in the subse subsequent videos that are following. Yeah. Yeah. And today I was passing a message to the youths. Yeah. So that we can unite. Yes.